Welcome back to the Paul Dolphin Details channel right this week. Yeah, we're back with a Mini again. Really? Yeah, the rather dirty Mini. The interior is worse than the outside. Shame on you, Sean. Uh, this car is a daily. It gets used. It gets abused. Now, this isn't one of those horrendous, dirty detailing videos where I'm sucking shovelfuls of crap out of the carpet. It's bad, but it's not that bad. But it needs a spruce up. It needs a real tidy up and perhaps some nice fragrance in the cabin. Um, I'm going to list some products. And I'm going to show you them very, very quickly, but also um, show you what I'm using this week in the video. And I'll talk about the stuff I'm using this week. Because lots of you mentioned about doing interior detailing videos. And I don't really talk about them a lot because they're hard to film. So you're in for a treat this week. Right, we're going to talk about some of the products uh, featured in the video. We've got Renew, which is the leather cleaner from uh, Detailed Online. This is one of those pump sprayer jobs. Now, um, if you're a certain age, you remember hair mousse. I can just about remember those days. Uh, it's one of those. It's got a pump and it comes out in a foam. It smells really nice, this stuff. This is used to clean and sort of rejuvenate the leather seats. Or they look like leather. They might be dodgy plethora. I don't know. According to the owner, they're leather. Okay. Then we have um, Inside Job. Ooh, uh, inside Job. This is from Bouncers Wax. Good old Jay sent this down to try it. This is the interior cleaner dresser. Has anti-static properties. This so um, stops the re uh, it reduces the amount of dust that clings to your switches and your uh, your cabin. So it were smells divine that stuff as well. And there was a number of air freshers from Details Passions uh, this week. We choose to use fresh, which makes your car smell nice and new. Anyway, enough jibber jabbering. All the links and all that malarkey will be underneath the video, and uh, you can go and grab a nice uh, bowl of um, oxtail soup. Chunky bread and some proper comfort food, and settle down and relax. Roll the video. Here we go then. Introduce you to my pneumatic vacuum cleaner. Trusty tool to have. A crevice tool. Obviously a must when you're doing vehicles. Another attachment. The upholstery attachment. Start by removing the floor mats. We've got the carpeted type. Lovely. Mmm. And also get rid of any rubbish in the car, any belongings, any loose chains, put that in your back pocket, give that back to the owner, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. And start by removing the worst. Now you can use some fancy hog's hair brushes like these or your common or garden detail brush and then use a crevice tool next to it and sweep the debris into the direction of the vacuum cleaner. All easy stuff. Get the worst out first. Now, some of you might start from the dash and then work your way down. Some might start on the carpet and work your way up. I started at the top and gradually worked my way down. Another handy tool to have from the calf store, this little brush. Got a couple of these now, I use them for pad cleaning and the crevice tools. And that is a crevice brush from Vican. Details carpet brush, details passion. All very handy tools to have. It's all very basic stuff, but you might get some tips this week. So that's all the loose stuff, and you get right in the corners with that brush. Now, I've sped most of this up, because obviously it's rather boring watching someone vacuum a car for hours on end. And I know you want to get to your next beer and plow through your soup. Nice stained pedals, we'll get to those later on. So just by the switch gear and around the handbrake area seems to be the worst affected area in this car. Obviously being a Mini and Sean being a large chap. Nice dead skin, mmm, lovely. Get rid of that. And a top tip for anybody, you should really be wearing a mask doing this, just in case of inhaling dust and germs. But Sean loves the sound of my voice, I only want to wear one. I think that's what he said anyway. Right, ultra soft detailing brushes from 26 JPN, thanks to those guys. Detailing factory style brushes, now you can use these in conjunction with your crevice tool by flicking off the loose stuff. If it's really heavy going, then use a hog's hair brush. These are brilliant for dashboards. Really, really good tools, these are. Remembering, you're just getting the surface stuff off. We're going in for a deep clean later on. 
nice and tight. These are in minis, ramming old crevice tool down the side of the handbrake. Now, of course, you can take the seats out. I know you're all going to say, why don't you take the seats out? We did discuss this, me and Sean. He said it is a pain in the backside. No, thank you. Not today. See what I mean? That's it. Knock the camera out of the way, Paul. So you can get right in there with these. Don't forget the vents. So there's some nasty stains in that carpet, embedded dirt. We're going to get those out in a bit because vacuuming doesn't cut the mustard. They didn't make these for big people, did they? Six foot four guys, beware. Don't do this. Talk about back braking. Handy these uh, Vicam brushes. Getting right up down the uh, seat rails. Yes, I know, it would have been a damn sight easier to have those out. Would have been a hell of a lot easier. But according to Sean, they're an absolute pain in the rectum. That is a pet hair brush. Brilliant bit of kit, the Lily brush. Not a huge amount, but worth using. Right, this is my steamer, my Neofis steamer. What a brilliant bit of kit. Suspicious looking sticky stain on the floor. I don't know what that is, but it's coming off. That brush is available from Detailers Passions. I'll put a link to the website down below while I get steamy. So gently keep steaming and then brush it and it should come away. Now you can of course use a drill brush, but then once you use a drill brush, you're gonna flick the stuff everywhere. So I'm trying to keep it localized. And just mop up the residue with a microfiber. Preferably a cheap one, because I don't know what that was. That's going in the bin. So you might notice I hold the steamer and squirt it directly into the microfiber. There is a reason for that. Every time you use these steamers, they squirt out a small amount of water and that just helps catch it. No, not catch it, catch it. Catch it, something we get in our drive. That is a really grubby area. You'd be surprised the amount of embedded grime around a handbrake, disgusting. Took a number of hits this did to get rid of the grime. Have a number of cloths handy as well because these do get damp rather quickly. Plenty of kick marks in the back there from uh, Sean's victims, I mean uh, friends, these had in the back. So you can run this off bottled water. If you run the steam off bottled water, you then preserve the life of the boiler. If you're in a hard water area and you're using tap water, it won't do it any good. Well, that is APC, all-purpose cleaner, eight to one. Use an APC of your choice. For the really in-ground embedded filth around the door areas, you can use your hog's hair brush, agitate with the APC, and then you can steam over the top. Now, you should wear gloves, but I'm operating a camera. Top tip, that is pretty hot stuff. And it hurts when you squirt your hand with it. Not that you want to do it on purpose. So it makes for a nice clean surface to then apply our dressings after. And also, it's got a nice smell, a neutral smell. Same thing again, use the APC to apply it on the worst affected areas, you'd be surprised the amount of filth in those vents and on those pedals. The iconic pedals. Hit it with a steamer and you'll see a big difference. Also, it saves you going to the local spa, which is a damn sight cheaper.
So I keep my youthful looks. Neil Fist steamer straight in the face. There you go. Now around the cup holder area, that is pretty filthy. You can get a hog's hair brush in there, but it is pretty tricky. So I found that using the steamer, getting right underneath and getting into those tight areas, this is a must. Don't get too close on switch gear though. Don't really hold it on there for a long period of time. You might lose the, uh, the decals, the print on your switch gear. Just be careful. Satisfying this, isn't it? When it comes to the carpets, I'm using a carpet solution. It's around about 10 to one in a pump sprayer or double action trigger spray. You can use a, a big pump sprayer and put a lot more on. Now, the more you put on, the more you've got to take out. So depending on the severity of the carpets, how bad they are, you go where I'm going. There's the Henry Wash. That's the one I'm, I've got. You might send a video on this. I'll stick a card in. So we've got some stains down there. They're not horrendous, I know, but you'd be surprised the amount of filth you can get out of a carpet. Stuff you don't really see. It's embedded. And I have to say, BMW carpets are very, very good. These are much better than Ford carpets. They're better than Skoda carpets, to be honest with you. Now we have a stain there, right behind that seat rail. Don't worry about that, we're gonna concentrate that. Concentrate on that in a minute. Get your words out, Paul, what's wrong with you? So we're gonna hit it again, using the carpet solution. Change the attachment on the drill brush and concentrate on that stain there. I, to be honest, I think it's like a rust mark. Could be worse, it could be a skid mark. Boom, boom. Here all week. So if you've got a really bad carpet, you can load up a, um, a pump sprayer. And then you can put a lot more in. We don't want to saturate these carpets. Might seem pointless this, doing this, and then putting a, a mat over the top, but it does really freshen up the interior. It makes it smell a downside better. Now this chemical I'm using is primarily for uh, pets, not for pets, giving it to pets and cleaning pets, but it's to get rid of those nasty pet odors. I'll put a link underneath the video. It's incredibly cheap, well worth it. Obviously the more liquid you put in there, the more mess you make as well. Now, some of these machines come with a slightly different head, the fishtail on the end. I might have mentioned this some time ago in a previous video. You might have to change the head. If you wanna know where to get the head from, I'll dump a link underneath the video. Sometimes it's quite tricky to get access underneath the pedals. This, however, makes it a lot easier. Now it is slightly wider than a Bizzle machine, I understand that. And I think the Bizzle machine is actually easier to get access. I was toying on whether to buy one or not. This has a larger tank, I believe. And of course I have the upright wand, so I can use that in the home. Believe it or not, before I started all this, I used to clean carpets years ago. That takes me back, I had hair then. So once again, steamer comes into play. These areas are a must, because obviously makeup, I don't think it's actually Sean's makeup, but grime and sweat off your fingers. And again, the passenger side, not too bad the passenger side. Single bloke's car, get the violins out. Yep, there's some dirt on that kick panel on the left. Don't worry about that, that's coming off. Mm -hmm. 
So once I've satisfied the carpet, it's all dry, it's onto the seats. This is Renew from Detail Online. This is the leather cleaner foam. So work this into the seats. It's a nasty damage on that seat. Time for a visit to Pro D, I think. Don't worry, we'll throw Pro D's website in underneath. That's £10.50 you owe me, Gary. So just gradually work this in and you can just buff it off after. These seats were fairly hungry. If they're very dry, you might want to step it up and reapply it. Some damage on the passenger seat, thanks to a leaky battery. Who puts batteries on seats, Sean? I mean, why would you do such a thing? Right, when it comes to the uh, floor mats, we switch attachments on the vacuum, get rid of the worst, and then use the brush from Details Passions to get rid of any loose debris that's embedded in the carpets. Yes, these are the carpeted type mats. The hair, the lily brush can get rid of. Then apply the carpet solution again. Once again, if you have a pump spray, you can liberally soak these. And then go over the drill brush to agitate. So relaxed about someone doing work, isn't it? It's a damn sight easier watching someone. So if they're really bad, this might require several passes. The more of this liquid you put in your machine, the worse it is. I have to say, even though it's a low foam chemical, these machines have a tendency to overflow around the top and they foam up and you get bubbles out and then the ball cock gets thrown up to the top of the filter and the machine won't bother sucking. Inside job from Bouncer's Wax is the O Naturel Cleaner and Dressing. Apply this onto your plastics for a very natural finish and buff off. And of course, it's got the anti static properties in it that won't attract so much dust. Last but not least, underneath the steering wheel, and yes, we did steam that steering wheel. And that is it, ladies and gents. You can, uh, oh, apart from the uh, cabin spray. So I'm really freshening it up. This is fresh from Details Passions. Spray that into the, the mats and you're done.
better in it. Now it looks a damn sight cleaner inside and it smells nice and fresh. Uh, these are a bit of a challenge to film these videos. In fact, they're an effing nightmare. Uh, yes, a nightmare. Uh, we started around nine o'clock. Sorry, I started at nine o'clock in the morning. I finished around half three, four o'clock. And that was pretty much constant, apart from a quick cup of tea and a bite to eat. Um, there are a major challenge. Now, it wasn't horrendous. We weren't sucking oodles of muck out the carpets like you see in many of these videos. This is more about technique and some of the equipment being used. So I hope you picked up some top tips this week. We'll quickly talk about the products. Inside job, the uh, anti-static dressing cleaner from Bouncers. It, you can't really see where it goes. That's the only downside on this. It's very, very neutral when you spray it on the, uh, the plastics, on the vinyls. Um, it, it, you can just about see it. You can smell it. So um, you kind of use a bit too much sometimes because you can't really see what you're doing with it. But it does. It seems to work and it sort of lifts them um, a little bit. But don't expect sort of like a back to black affair it's not one of those really strong dressings it's very very subtle so if you're into those then that'll be the product for you uh, when it comes to the leather stuff from detailed online yeah i've used a, a couple of these products before now the seats are pretty knackered the uh, driver's seat um the leather on that is uh very very warm in fact the last time i saw some uh, leather worn like that was on a horse don't ask me what i was doing around the back of a horse another story um but it's it sort of lifts it it cleans it it rejuvenates it very very slight it's very subtle if you've got really really bad seats you're gonna have to look at something else and may, maybe sort of like getting hold of gary from pro d bit of a plug there for you gary and he'll um redo your lever for you i might put his website actually in underneath you owe me one gary so that is another subtle cleaner and it has a nice fragrance you can use two towels i mean all i did was flip the towel over and then just buff it off and it seems to drive out any streaks not a bad product uh the uh fresh does make your cabin smell fresh what you can do you can put your ac on you can spray it down near the ac put it on recirculate and that will fill the car quicker top tip for you one uh, thing I'm going to talk about, which I have mentioned in the video, is this thing, this Lily pet hair brush. Now, there was a minuscule amount of pet hair in this car. Uh, Sean did say there had a number of dogs in the car. I don't know what he's going on about. I got a bit confused when he said that because I thought, I've never seen him walk one. Strange man. Um, and this did really, these things are brilliant. I mean, it looks like a giant floppy credit card. They are brilliant bits of kit, these are. You can get these on Amazon. I'll try and find a link and put it in underneath the video, as well as the brushes and everything else. So I hope you enjoyed this one. It's a little bit different this week. And you're all keeping it nice and safe. Uh, tons and tons of reviews coming up. Loads and loads of videos. So stay tuned. Keep subscribing. Keep putting your thumbs up. Get your comments in. See you on the next video, guys.